Simple, just regular bobber dog and stuff. And we're gonna switch out leads quite a bit between the heavy water and the softer water. I we'll put on the smaller ones. We'll check it all out. Okay, well here's your here's your little thing today. Okay. This guy right here okay. has never caught a steelhead. You? So that never got you're a getting him on his first steelhead today. That's that's the goal for this episode is to get Clint on his first ever steelhead. So. What's up everyone out there? Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Addicted Life. We got a special guest with us today. You want to introduce yourself, dude? Yeah, I'm a Japanese guy for Heron Sea and out here on the river today doing some winter steelhead fishing and uh gonna get them. It's gonna be a good day. So yeah, this is Patrick. We get all of our herring every year for spring Chinook season from him. We'll make sure we drop some links down below so you guys, if you want to take advantage of that, he's got some quality, quality stuff. I don't even know what, it's probably gone now, right? Like how's that work? I mean, you. I got pallets of it. Pallets of it, pallets so you're good, it. you're good. good. So we'll put a link down below and we'll also put a link for his guide business if you guys want to get out here in this beautiful Pacific Northwest <laughs> weather and catch some winter steelhead. We got my buddy, my buddy Matt here. Been fishing with Matt for a really long time, learned a lot from him. And then of course we got Loho Clint. He'll probably catch nothing <laughs> once again today. So this is what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be dragging our floats around, bobber dogging. You guys have seen this in a few other setups. Actually in an episode Nick just did on the one of the Oregon coast rivers, he was bobber dogging. So we're gonna be doing that today, but just in a little bit bigger, heavier, deeper water. So yep. Big let's go water, find them. Let's do it. Let's Clint, go ahead, grab a rod. Oh, great. Just right when the current starts to straighten out, we'll get them in there. Hits the water, when it hits the water, give it a good 10, 15 feet of slack to let it drop down in there. And let it do its thing. Okay. Well, you want to cast so about 30 degree angle upstream. Okay. It's a lot easier for me to slow the boat down than it is to speed it up. Let's see what Marlon's casting. First cast there in about three go. months. Beautiful. Give it about 10 feet of slack just so it has enough to get, get down all the way. I'm going to get it. Okay. Yep. First one in boat. This is Pacific Northwest Steelhead Fishing Addicts. Trout or something, maybe? Yeah. Go, 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 real! Nope. Trout, steelhead, stick. Who's to say? Oh, yeah, you got him. Right in fish city. All right, right there. Salvage the episode. Caught a fish. This out there, everyone watching, is the beautiful Pacific Northwest whitefish. These things are a trophy to have in your boat. This is what we came out here targeting with Patrick today. We were going for the white fish and we got one. Oh, oh. All right guys, so like I said in the beginning of the episode, we buy all of our herring for spring Chinook season and actually I even get it for fall Chinook season as well through Patrick. He's got some of the best, I would say it probably is the best herring you can buy in the Northwest. So have him talk about it a little bit, Sean, just kind of if these addicts want to get on to Yeah, so Harbor Herring, uh, we're out at Gig Harbor, Washington and we do all of our fishing in the Puget Sound area, all within the Gig Harbor area. Uh, the nice thing about our bait is it's minimal starve time of two weeks to ensure nice firm bait. Uh, 
our processing plant is literally minutes down the road from from where we store our fish at alive so you can guarantee that the freshness of the bait from the time it gets taken out of the water and harvested to the time it gets put on a tray and frozen it's it's fresher than anything that you're gonna find anywhere else um, usually you have almost all sizes on hand at any given time orange through purple and uh, we're pretty big we we hardly ever run out of inventory and we supply a lot of wholesale places in Alaska Oregon California Washington and and uh, we're it's good stuff try it out give me a call if you want if you need need a case of fish and 253-432-1126 and we'll make sure we drop all that information down below but i highly recommend it guys if you're looking to like stock up or get your herring before the season or just stock up for the whole year that's what we do we'll buy cases from him and just kind of keep it and split it between buddies it's a good good method to go and one thing about it that i've noticed that is just the scales you know the scales are always just so immaculate on these herring just trust me on it links down below check it out if you guys get a chance you won't be sorry come on steelhead we just saw one get caught don't that means they're look, here don't make me look bad steelhead as you can see addict sean if you go out in here this is why this bobber dogging is so effective look at how well we're covering basically every sector of this line where these fish may be laying this goes for a long long time yeah you float down the river for super long distances and not really have to mess with your gear it's just a really efficient way to target them and easy right like most guys can do it with with little effort like it's pretty easy to do oh yeah no it's i mean <laughs> out of all the different techniques out there it's one of the easiest ones and you unless don't you're <laughs> yeah unless you're clint you gotta know how to cast and that's the problem if you can't cast like clint you're not you're gonna do very good out here we've been struggling with Clint this morning, but we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. There you go. Real, 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 real. Fish, 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 fish. Oh, yeah, he's on. Rod, low and to the side, low and to the side. There you go. Bring him in, boys. Low and to the side. Nice. See how he bit? Oh. You see how he bit? It was kind of like a trout for a little bit. Kind of tick, 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 yep. tick, tick, and you exactly. just got a reel to catch up to it. Matt was confused what to do. <laughs> then, the, then the bail kind of flipped out a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Stay on the edge of the boat, Bell. Stay on the edge, and he's gonna try to go under the boat most likely. So just stick that rod right in the water if he tries. Nice, Matt. Yeah. Take your time with him. There oh, he is, right here. Fish. Ready. Yep. Just keep it out. He's gonna try to go around the boat a little bit. So just keep it out, yep. just like how you're doing. Good job. You ready? Straight up. Nice. Bingo. Let some line up, Bill. Good job. All right. It's a wild Oh fish. my gosh, what are the odds? Wild. There you go, nice little fish. Like a gill net. Right on, brother. All right. Woo. Well, let's Perfect. run up there again and come back through. I did it. You did that's, it. That's the first fish in three months. You did it. Loosen them. I'm winning right now. Two for two. Oh, what the? Trophy whitefish. This is my first winner. Fish. Nice. <laughs> Good job. That's freaking awesome. Oh, boy. I got it, man. That's a nice fish. I mean, he looked a little colored. I don't think it's a summer. No, it's a word. Yeah. Oh. It was wild, anyways. Dang. All right. Nice fish, y'all. Two for two. I actually, that other one doesn't really count. We didn't put it in the net, but it was a wild. Two wilds. Hey, daddy's hungry. So we're hooking wilds, please. We need some meat. Is that a dish? Yeah. No. Stick? Probably a stick. Nice stick. Real nice stick. Alright addicts, we are, let's see what time is it right now? Probably 9? How? 
Nine o'clock. So it's nine o'clock. We've been out here a couple hours at it. We've got two steel into the boat. Bunch of beautiful white fish. But we're gonna keep searching here. We're gonna get the drone in the air, get some cool footage of just some B-roll stuff. Stay tuned, hopefully we can get some more steelhead on these big, ugly, bouncy ball things. <laughs> Alright addicts, here we go. We're joining the party. We got a boat here, boat there. A couple boats down river. Going down. Real it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. On Aren't you happy I invited you today? Yes, thanks, Marty. Hey, Matt, stay on the side of the boat, but put a little more attention on him this time, pal. All right, that's it, dude. I need one of those three beads. <laughs> Three's too many. Like, this orange, Matt's got this orange bead on, this mottled orange bead that's just crushing fish. Another wild one. It one. is? I think so. Probably just a really small color. Wait a minute. And she's not dead that counts. There you go. Good job, Matt. She gone. Thank you. Pat realized that was a wild, so we figured instead of netting it, just pop it loose real quick at the boat. So that's what we did. Three for three. That's the one right there. BNR tackle. Brandon makes these beads. He's a super good, legit guy. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Brandon, <laughs> for the orange sexiness. I'm getting one now. You're screwed now, Matt. It's on. Is it on now? I got, I got a little head start <laughs> at least. Well, when we have you know a little bit slower people in the boat, we typically give them like the stuff that's going to work the best. So that way, you know, it kind of gives you a little bit of a head start. I'm, I'm all right with all that. All right. <laughs> Brace yourselves. Gotta go get them. Which is why we should have given that to play. <laughs> oh, steel head. Okay, Matt. Get us another one, pal. Was it Matt's fishing skills or was it the bead color? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like to think it's my skills, but of course it is. Yeah. That last one, I didn't. That was a no-brainer. Done deal, huh? Yeah. I just started swimming away. Oh, Clint! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> that would have been awesome. <laughs> God damn it, Sean. <laughs> Jesus, Funny. get that camera out of my face. <laughs> Wait, you're on fire, dude. <laughs> Slayer. Oh, I just missed one. What was that, hot rock? Is that a steel? It was a fish. I don't know if it was a steel rod, but. I blew it! All right, addicts. We had a little bit of a sun break and now it's really starting to get windy and cold and rainy on us again, but it doesn't matter because this is what winter steel hunting's about. We're gonna keep at it. We've gotten three fish to the boat so far, a bunch of little white fish. It's been a fun day, so hopefully we can bonk a couple though because that's what we're after is a couple bonkers. So stick with us, wish us luck, and let's see if we can get a couple more. <laughs> I was worried about, I'm always worried about like going too far. Listen, there's what? one way you can get kicked out of a dick, and that is being a terrible fisherman. <laughs> so you better start stepping up the game. <laughs> just relax and just, just focus on the prize. <laughs> focus on, Sean, get that camera out of my face. <laughs> Man, I got faith in you, dude. You're going to get one. That was the whole goal of this episode was to get you your first steelhead, and Matt came and stole them all from you. Did you catch one? Clint caught one. Hey. Good job, buddy. What did you get, dude? Right. 
Drag was a little tight. This is how much I trust Clint. I'm letting him drive my boat. That's a bad idea. <laughs> Gonna jump, Sean. Nice. Quit moving, lady. Smooth back. Smoothie. Good job, brother. He's gonna get the ball. Good job, Alex. Marlin's first bead fish. I would say that. But <laughs> probably, it's probably the first bead fish on camera, that's for sure. Nice fish. That nice. one's gonna go good on my barbecue. Oh, my bead came off. Good night. There you go, nice little, nice little winter run. Perfect. Bleed them out and try to get another one. Clint oh, it is. decided to rig his bobber backwards. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who are we to talk? Because Marlin sent me a text. He's, he's thinking really hard to try to come up with something. Like yeah, that. he can't. <laughs> it's fine. I got, oh, I got nothing, bro. It's fine. That was a fish. Damn it. That was a, like a fish. That was a fish. He was biting it. You that, can see it like. What do you got to say for yourself, Clint? Yeah, Clint, give, give you the hurt. I Give the addicts an update. Tell them what just happened. No, crickets. I don't, I don't crickets. want. I don't want to. Nothing. I don't want to. Basically, what happened, addicts, is Clint had a steelhead grab his bead and like take off running up river with it. And instead of setting the hook, he just looked at it and said, "There's a fish." I did not. <laughs> I did not. I was watching his bobber, and you could see it like <laughs> doing the freaking steelhead bite. Got him that time. You set the hook on that one, Clint. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty good bite. There he is. That's a fish. Yep. Oh, oh my oh. God. Love it. I reeled and I had it. Good I God. hate. I hate my life. That was him. Sean turned his first winter steel had ever of his life on and he just lost it. Walked Sean out of the water. Sean turned the camera off. <laughs> there he is. Back on. Get him. Clint, you want him? That's my own. Sorry dude, we need to hand off type of crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Someone should probably net the fish for him. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, as soon as I net him, we're gonna throw him in the boat and run back up. So this will be ready. Get on out there. That's how you do double time. Right in there, boys. There you go, Marlon. Got him. Whitey. I think it's a whitey. No, I felt him biting. Oh, yeah. Giant whitey. Oh, look at that hook placement. Right where you want to get him. <laughs> oh, he's freaking out. See you, dude. Fish. Is it? Something. A three? It's a stick fish. It's stick fish? Bass, whatever it is. No, wait. Sturgeon? Is he head shaking or what's it doing? Oh, it's a huge springer, huge stick. Oh, it's a fish! It's a fish one. <laughs>
<laughs> it wasn't it wasn't head shake or nothing. It was like it felt like a snake. Oh my god. No way. Amateur hour here for the addicted boys. Wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> There's no head shake. It felt like a log. Crazy. Wow. Dude, he he literally he, he was literally like a log. Yeah, brother. Here, he was literally like a log. Remember, I was like, it doesn't feel like anything, yeah. like a stick. I thought it was a stick coming he in sideways. He flashed, he was tugging like that, and he I thought he was a springer for a second. Oh, that cool. Weird. Yeah. That was the weirdest playing fish I've seen in a long time. Yeah. That's funny. The old no fighter. <laughs> the old no fighter. He the old switcheroo out on us. Mm -hmm. That's what he was trying to do. He was trying to get you to, he was tricking you. Yeah, bottom cut. I thought it was like, you know, when you reel a stick in sideways and it comes in sideways, that's what it felt like. All right, addicts, one thing I've been meaning to tell everyone, especially all you single ladies out there, is Clint is looking. He's been, he's been looking for a woman. He, he needs someone that he can settle down with. Ain't that right, Clint? Uh, sure. Yeah. He's got money too. He's a pilot. You got a, a whitefish on your line. He's still there, you think? Oh. Yep. Yeah, he is. I seen him jumping out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it might be my first steelhead. No, I think that's a coho. I'm just kidding. Let me see that thing. Is that a coho? No, it's got spots all over it. No, it is. It's a smolt. It's a steelhead smolt. First steelhead, Clint. Oh. How's it feel? How's that's it feel? A, that doesn't count. All right, addicts. We're probably more than halfway through the day now. I would say we've had a lot of bipolar weather of like these crazy rainstorms that come in and, and then dump on us, and then it gets sunny and we warm up for a second. And as soon as Patrick takes his jacket off, the rain comes right back. So. Are you gonna jinx us again right now, or think stay away from? I don't know. We might we might be all right here for a minute. Right. How do you like those rains? Oh, uh, oh, uh, they're Dude, on the another level. The, the creamsicle is the only one, man. Dude, it's so it's on another level. Those are so good. Orange creamsicle. Looking for that pro staff. Let's oh. steelhead fish. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> no. Fish. I was just giving you guys an update. And I hooked one. Oh, he was bright, dude. Oh, and lost him. Oh, lost him. What's that? Eight, Damn, nine this now? bead is just crushing. But we do, on a positive note, if we come up here and look in this little guy, we do have some bonkers in there. So, we're searching for one more for Clint. <laughs> Hopefully, he might just have to take a hand off if me and Matt and Pat keep freaking. <laughs> Setting the hook on him, Clint's gonna have to take a hand off. What do you think, Clint? Nah. Nah? Nah. <sighs> Let's do this. There we go. Yep, yeah. I saw him running with nice. it. Nice. Nice. Oh, oh, he came off. Are you kidding me? He came Dang. off. Dang. Damn. That was a hot little one. Yeah. You're falling behind, you rad. Perfect score. Dude, that was damn near in the same spot. Yep. Yep. That was hookup number nine. We've landed six. I'm one for two, so that's two. You're what? Four for five. Four for five, so that's seven. One one. You're one for one's eight. Clint's 0 for one. Nine. Nine hookups so far. We got two in the box. Rain's coming back down again. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Matt's been the slayer today. Just putting a beat down on us. There you go. Got him? Yeah. Clint's on, yeah! Woo! Clint, low into the side, pal. Low into the side. Good job, Clint. Low into the side, Clint. Keep pressure on it, Clint. Uh -oh. oh my god, he has no pressure on it. It's gone. Oh no. I hate my. 
<laughs> Matt, Matt even feels bad at this point. It's like... <sighs> I'm not going to say it, but that I was, am going to say that it. That was totally was, your fault. That fish was dead to f***ing nuts. You didn't hit him very hard, though, you know? You know what I mean? You didn't, like... I looked over at his rod, and there was literally zero pressure on the fish. <laughs> There he is. There he is. I gotta go, honey. Love you, bye. bye. Ooh, we're all tangled up. Dogging on the phone with my wife. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Fish on, boys! There we go. Oh! Um. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. All right, Attic, so we just did a really, really long pass that time down Bobber Dog and didn't find anything. Clint's 0 for 2 now. Clint's the last person on the boat that we need to get a fish, and it's gonna be his first winter steelhead, so we're gonna go give it one last lap, and then we're gonna call it a day, so wish Clint luck. Let's go see what happens. Clint, it's on you, dude. It's all on you right now. Here we go, he says. Should we just let him fish? <laughs> All right, Clint. Better luck next time. There he is. <laughs> I keyed, I keyed. What do you got there? What? A layaway fish mat. A layaway fish mat. Worked pretty good. All right, addicts. So we're wrapping up the day. It's been a freaking good day, dude. Thanks for having us. Yeah, I appreciate it. Anytime, man. Anytime. If people want to come out fishing with you, what do they do? How do they reach you? And what are you fishing for typically? Are you all season long, all year long? Yeah, for the most part, our, all year long. I mean, we start in August with king salmon and then do coho salmon in the fall and steelhead and springers and yeah, do it all. What primarily area, like what what area are you fishing the most so the guys watching if they wanted to go out? We're doing you? Western Washington, you know, uh, around, the, river around, the, <laughs> around the Olympia area, you know, uh, Grays Harbor area, Grays out on Harbor. the peninsula, down here, Southwest Washington, down Columbia River, kind of just bounce around, hit whatever. So kind of up to Olympia, down to Southwest Washington. Mm -hmm. yep. Cool. All right, addicts, we're gonna make sure we drop a link. Sean, have his phone number rolling right here. What's your number? 253-432-1126. And it's so if, yeah, Gaffney. if you got Gaffney's Guide Service, right? Gaffneyfishing.com. Gaffneyfishing.com. I'll drop a link down below. All the information will be in on a load. Thank you so much again, addicts, for tuning in. We're taking some meat home today. So it was a great day. You can't complain about an awesome day of steelhead in the Pacific Northwest. We'll see you guys on the river. Later.